Hello everyone and welcome to Developer 3.5 Pro YouTube channel. So in this final video we are going to build our game for mobile and more specifically for an Android device. Now we will be able to play this game on an Android device and also you can share it with your friends. So without further ado let's get started. First let's go to file, build settings. And over here, make sure that uh, you put the scenes over here, the menu and the level scene. You can go to the scenes folder. Then you can drag and drop uh, the main menu and the level in this box. Then make sure that uh, the platform is Android. So we are going to build this game for Android. Now before we build this game, we need to make sure that the UI is responsive. As you can see when I change the uh, size of the uh, phone or the, uh, the size of the window you see that the uh, UI elements are not fitting correctly so to fix that go to the canvas and here we need to make sure to change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size so that uh, the UI elements will scale with the screen size and here we are going to put the current uh, size and make sure that this is set to 0.5 now if I change the size you see that the UI elements are looking okay for now and the same thing for the main menu so go ahead and open the main menu scene and select the canvas and under here let's change this from constant pixel size to scale with screen size and let's set the current size and change this parameter to 0.5 Now when we change the size of the window you see that it's fitting correctly so our game is responsive now if we go to build settings and try to build this game so you can give it a name over here let's put it under the desktop you see that when I build this game we get this error that's because we need to set the GDK as well as the SDK and NDK and to do that we need to go to edit preferences external tools and from here we need to uh, set the path of the JDK SDK and NDK so luckily unity make it easier to uh, set these using unity hub so we are going to close this window and let's open the unity hub then let's go under installs here we have all the versions of unity so I have this one then let's add a new module or modules so over here as you can see I already downloaded the JDK so we need also to download the SDK and NDK make sure to select both of these and hit next then let's accept done and these are going to be downloaded to our unity version so it's going to take a little bit of time but don't worry once everything is done let's close unity hub and go to edit preferences external tools and over here let's check gdk installed with unity so we need to use the gdk installed with unity the same thing for the SDK and the NDK so we downloaded these using Unity Hub now we will be able to build our game so let's close this and go to file build settings and over here let's build this game for Android then hit save so it's going to take a little bit of time to build And finally we have our APK file. Now let's close all of these windows 
as you can see here we have this message build completed with a result of succeeded now I'm gonna go under the desktop so we have over here the APK file now you can send it to your friends so that you, uh, they can test your game so I'm gonna put this file inside the internal storage of my phone you can also rename the file let's rename it to runner wheel or whatever you want but before that I wanted to add this icon to our game so I wanted to change the default icon and to do that let's go to file build settings and over here we have player settings go ahead and click on it as you can see here we can change some settings for example the company name the product name so let's change the company name to shaker developer and let's also change the name of the game for example runner wheel and over here we can change the icon of the game so let's close uh, these windows and let's drag and drop this icon inside the unity let's put it under the assets folder then go ahead and select this icon and I'm gonna change this to sprite 2d and UI then let's open the player settings again and under here let's change the icon to this one we have here some settings about the resolution so our game is a portrait mode game so let's remove the landscape choice then let's close this and I'm going to rebuild the game using this build button so save this and let's replace the current one now that we have here the apk file I'm gonna close this and also I'm gonna close unity under the desktop I have here the file so I'm gonna cut this and let's put it in the internal storage of my phone now I'm going to use this file to install the game inside my phone first I'm gonna open my files and under here we have the apk file runnerwheel.apk so go ahead and click on it then install and it's going to be installed on your mobile and over here we can open the game so let's open this and here we have our game that is made with unity so let's hit this start button to play the game and here we are so it's working very well so I hope you enjoyed this series and learned a lot about making games especially for Android finally don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like the video and share it with your friends so if you have any question or comment feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and uh, have a great day